Stan Jabalisco here with another little tidbit from my book Physics Demystified, Second Edition. What you're looking at here is the Amazon preview page for this book in which you'll get an opportunity, if you're so predisposed, to see what how this book starts out. You'll see the table of contents so you know what's in it. See the introduction. And then it starts out with scientific notation, which every physicist really ought to know inside and out. Uh, you don't get to read that much of this book uh, by, so, uh, by looking at this, but it's a good preview so that it's kind of like in a bookstore. You can browse and see whether maybe you want to purchase it. And if you do, I am providing a link to the Amazon page for this book in the description of this video. And that's what the Amazon page for the paperback book looks like. But for now, what I'd like to do is show you a very simple way to determine the volume of an irregular object. Uh, for example, a nugget of, oh, say, iron ore or a rock, a very irregular piece of stuff, and there's no way for you to measure its dimensions very well and get a precise idea of its volume, but it does occupy a certain amount of physical space. And, as we all know, water, being an incompressible liquid, will get displaced if you place that object in a, a beaker or some other measuring device calibrated in milliliters. That's a, a fancy word for thousandth of a liter or a cubic centimeter. Find this in any good physics or chemistry lab in your high school or even middle school more than likely, maybe even in your grammar school. And all you need to do then is fill it up with a certain amount of liquid. Let's say one, two, three, four, five milliliters without the rock in it. One, two, three, four, five, about six and a half milliliters with the rock in it. So you know that this rock is taking up one and a half milliliters of volume because it increases the measured volume here by one and a half milliliters. This uh, experiment was first done in the 200s BC by a scientist named Archimedes uh, in order to determine the volume of a king's crown and thereby knowing the actual mass of gold per unit volume they could figure out whether or not that crown was made of pure gold or not that's what the king wanted to know and the king found out courtesy of Archimedes I won't tell you what he found out you'll have to research that for yourself <laughs> but meanwhile I'll take you back to the Amazon page. For most of my books you get a preview like this. You just click on that image there. You can either click on these right arrows like this or you can scroll down and back up again. So I invite you if you so uh, interested to look at the beginning of this book. See if you want to buy it and if you do you'll find the link in this video. Hopefully uh, It'll lead, you to, uh, you'll f it'll lead you to the Amazon page and not to some other list of videos. I've been having a few glitches on my iPad with that feature lately, but you can go to Amazon, go to my website, and actually find my Amazon homepage and you'll find the book on there. Stan Chibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.